Okay, so here's a few examples I uh, took from the textbook and um, good practice examples to get you used to dealing with logs and see that they're not so scary after all. So look at the first one here, the log base 3 of root 27 is equal to something. So if you looked at the first video, I told you that 3 to the power of something gives you root 27. Well, just when you see something like this straight away, sometimes we see the log base something of x squared or something squared or some variable squared. Know that one of the rules in logs are, is something like this. So if you have log to the base, say, some a of x squared, yeah? Well, the rule tells you that you can actually bring this power down in front and you can actually say 2 log a base x or something like that you know and it can make the problem a bit easier and in general that's always what you have to do when you have a power in here for the questions i've seen anyway so let's actually change the look of this for a second to something like this uh, the log base 3 of 27 and of course to the power of a half that's what a square root is so now from this rule we know that we can bring this half power down in front so we can say a half of the log base 3 of 27 is equal to something, yeah? Now let's just look at the log base 3 27. 3 to the power of something gives you 27. Well, actually, this stuff here, we know 3 to the power of 3 gives us 27. So we know log to the base 3 of 27 is actually 3. Keeping our half outside, changing this stuff to 3. What's a half of 3? Well, that's just 3 over 2. So that's the first one done. So hopefully that made sense. We just used this rule where we can bring a power down to the front, okay? And this is our, our final answer here. Now let's look at another one. So this one says, so we have a couple, uh, like a composition here of a couple of different things and a couple of different rules together. So I picked this one because I can show you the two in one go. So I'm going to deal with the first two first. All right. And no particular reason why, but here we go, right? So. 9 times 8, because when you have an addition between two logs of the same base 6, we can actually bring that together as the log base 6 of 9 times 8. So that's what the rule says, you can split a multiplication to two additions, or equally you can bring the two additions, as long as they're the same base, into a multiplication like this. So it actually says it's the log base 6 of 72. Right now, before we go ahead and try and solve that, right, what I'm actually going to look at is this part, and it's really a practice thing here. I can just kind of do the mental arithmetic in my head, and I can see where this is going. So, uh, the log base six of two. All right, so I'm left with this here now. The way addition brings together to multiplication, well, actually, subtraction brings together into the division, or division can be split into a subtraction. So. We brought these two additions together as multiplication, same base, but now we have these two, this subtraction. So we have 70, log base 6 and 2 minus log base 6 and 2. We actually bring this together as division and it will look like this. The log base 6 of 72 over the second one, 2. And now you may see why, after a little bit of mental arithmetic in my head, I can see this is the best way to do it because I'm left with this. The log base 6 of 72 divided by 2 is 36. And now I remember back to the original notes. 6 to the power of something gives me 36. So therefore, 6 to the power of 2 I know gives me 36. So the answer to all of that happens to be just the number 2. And yeah, you may think, oh, like how can I see this? But it, it really is a practice thing. And you, and you know in, in your math sometimes it's a bit of trial and error goes on. And eventually, just from experience, you just see the correct way to do something, okay? So let's look at this one here. Um, last one is for this video. Um, so we have the log base 8 of 72 minus the log base 8 of 9 over 8. So first off the bat, I can see that 8 to the power of something gives me 72. Well, like the first power I think of is 8 squared, not 64. And then we go with cubed. So it's not, not going to get at now that. So let's look at this one here. So remember what I said to you, that you can actually split this because it's a division of 9 over 8. We can say minus the log... Um, base 8 of uh, 9 minus the log base 8 of 8. Okay? So remember, it's the top one minus the bottom one. And now, straight away, we can actually see that the log base 8, well, 8 to the power of what gives 8? Well, that's just actually 1. And there is a little rule saying the log to some base of the same number is actually equal to 1. That's just because 8 to the power of 1 gives you 8. So this stuff here is just 1. So I'm actually left with this. I'm left with the log base 8 of 72 minus 
the log base 8 of 9. Now I have a minus by a minus here, so I have to be careful because that actually is, is 1. But the stuff is actually minus that, so it's minus 1. So a minus by a minus gives us a plus on the outside here. Now I have to look at the two of these, right? And you'll see where we're going here. So this is a subtraction. So our log base 8 of 72 minus log base 8 of 9. They don't seem to go in easier. I'm not using a calculator. So let's go with log base 8. This goes on top. This goes on the bottom. So I'm left with 72 now over 9. And of course 9 goes into um, 72 8 times. So this is actually the log base 8 of 8. Which again is actually 1. So this stuff now turns out to be 1, and we have this little plus 1 here, so we end up with 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So yeah, so you can see a pretty complicated looking problem up here ends up just being the number 2. That's just a real simple introduction to logs. They do get a, a little bit more difficult. I, I want to say they're easy, but like obviously there's difficult adaptions to them so we'll look at those in other videos but if you can get this down and start doing these in your head mentally it will really help you start solving the algebraic ones